Remembering Le Rosalind Carter. President Carter called her his equal partner in everything he accomplished. Senior National Correspondent Steve Osinsami shares their love story. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. When I sat down with them a few years ago, it was their final television interview, and we purposefully didn't talk about the news of the day. Instead, we talked about their life and love together. They told me that they knew that they were walking into the sunset of their lives, but said that what made it easier is that they were doing it with each other. President Jimmy Carter would often say that she was his most important decision and his secret weapon. From the Georgia State House to the White House in 1976, she was tireless. I, Jimmy Carter, do solemnly swear. As First Lady, she worked to destigmatize mental health issues at a time when even the vocabulary for such things was lacking. And after leaving the White House in 1980, she and her husband created the Carter Center, an organization that would end up eradicating diseases and ensuring fair elections around the world. Childhood sweethearts, she says that she first took a shine to Jimmy Carter when she saw his photograph in his sister's room. I uh, literally did fall in love with that photograph. They are the longest married presidential couple. I mean, Rosen say, okay, finally, and, uh, and staying with me all this long has been the most wonderful thing in my life. He's pretty wonderful in my life, too. This 75 years of marriage, um, what advice do you have for people who want to make it last? First of all, choose the right person to marry. And then uh, give each other plenty of space. Let, let, let the other person you know, have a full life in, in the way they choose. And uh, help when you can. Share things a lot. And do things together. We look always looking for to do things, for find things we can do together. Like fly fishing and bird watching and um, just going out to the pond, catch a fish. And uh, every night we try to make sure we, we are completely reconciled from all the arguments during the day uh, when we go to bed. So we also read the Bible every night, and we've done that for 60 years, probably. It's hard to go to sleep um, if you've read, uh, angry if you've read the Bible. <laughs> a week or so after that interview, a surprise arrived in the mail at my home. It shouldn't have surprised me that Mrs. Carter could have found me so easily. She had great connections, of course, at the Georgia State House and the U.S. government at her disposal, including the U.S. Secret Service. It was a handwritten letter of thanks, written in blue ink, a bit of old school charm and grace that she was so famous for. Her funeral will be a week from this Wednesday. Guys. Steve, let me ask you, what are you gonna remember most from your time with them together like that? I'm going to remember most how she looked at me <laughs> um, when I was talking with her. And the reason why I noticed it is because there was a bit of joy in her face, seeing how times had changed and that someone like me was able to be sitting in front of her, asking her and the former president questions. That's what I'm going to remember most. Wow, what a lovely oh, wow. story. Wow, that's beautiful. I can see the joy in your eyes right mm -hmm. now that she gave you. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate you, sh yeah. you sharing that. That was beautiful. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.